Well, up next on World Business Today, you may not have heard of it, but some say Bilderberg is secretly trying to take over the world. We're trying to find out why some of the biggest names in business and politics are currently meeting very discreetly in Germany. Conspiracy or cozy talking shop? The Bilderberg Group is meeting in South Germany this week, at least according to the Financial Times, which says a group of powerful men and women will debate the future of the world. The paper says the steering committee of Bilderberg includes Deutsche Bank boss Josef Ackermann, Nokia CEO Jorma Ollala, Daimler Chrysler's Jürgen Schremp, and outgoing World Bank President James Wolfensohn. I asked John Ronson, who has written about Bilderberg, what it really is. Bilderberg is a, is a meeting of powerful centrist industrialists and politicians. They always meet in secret once a year in a five-star hotel with golfing facilities. And they've taken on the, the, the image for conspiracy theorists of the, the, the fabled shadowy cabal that secretly rules the world. Are they? Well, yes and no. I mean, uh, I, I mean, they're a bunch of powerful people. They meet in, in secret. They say we meet in private, mm. uh, which isn't quite the same thing, is it? It's not quite the same thing. I do think that, by and large, m many members of the Bilderberg Group actually see themselves in much the same way as the conspiracy theorists see them, as this shadowy cabal out to, um, if not to rule the well, world, okay, but would, to influence world events. What would, what, would you, what would they see as their purpose then? I mean, presumably it's a kind of, it's a good get-together of powerful people. They don't often get a chance to meet away from the glare of the press. One could understand why they might want to have mm. a private chat. Yeah, and that's certainly got something to do with it. Uh, they, they see themselves as wise globalist centrists. They, they were set up post the Second World War by people like Dennis Healy, um, Various, uh, David Rockefeller and various others. And there's, there's a degree of idealism there, isn't there? Oh, they yeah, didn't yeah, want yeah. to go to war again. I mean, oh, absolutely. There, there is are... that a sinister conspiracy? Well, I mean, it, it depends what side of the political spectrum you, 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 you sit on. And, and uh, you know, many of the anti Bilderberg conspiracists uh, are right wingers who see themselves as twigs in a tidal wave of globalization. They see themselves as nationalists. And they think the idea of a, of a, of a world government, which is what Bilderberg. Is, is into, by and large, the idea of, of a one-world community, a new world order. You know, they see that as... They see themselves thing. as a government as opposed to a group of world leaders or people with influence at a global level who are talking about global issues, do they? They see themselves as, as headhunters. They'll, they'll get an up-and-coming politician who they think may be president or prime minister one day, and, and as globalist, industrialist leaders who believe that politics shouldn't be in the hands of the politicians, they try and influence them with wise words in the corridors outside the sessions. Should they be more open? I mean, should, should they come and, and sit here and do an interview with me and explain what they're doing or talk after their meeting about what they've decided, even if they don't invite us along as journalists beforehand well, or during? Well, Bilderberg's secrecy, I think, harks back to, specifically to Henry Kissinger, who you know, in quite a silly way, I think, loves the idea of being this shadowy secret figure. And it was, and it was Kissinger, as a founder member of Bilderberg, of Bilderberg, who had this idea to be this kind of secret organization in, in quite a, you know, in quite a silly way, really. So, so, and I think some members, I mean, Lord Owen said to me at one point, um, that, you know, he wishes... That's the former British Foreign Secretary and leader of the Social Democratic Party. Yeah, and he said he kind of wished Bilderberg, you know, didn't quite have this air of secrecy, because it gives rise to tremendous conspiracy theories. John Ronson there, who's written about Bilderberg in a book called Them, Adventures with Extremists.